It's October now. What has changed since your April visit? Well, thank you. Yeah. There are many things changed. Uh, well, the most significant part is uh, we are, during the last five to six months, we are advancing our product technology from the previous generation that we call the second generation, which is this tempered glass based packaging technology, to this what we call 2.5 generation technology, which is using a special polymer with a very special chemical material to package the sonar cells. So in this, just to compare apple to apple, there are many advantages of this new version versus this previous version. First, it's much lighter. And secondly, is using mu much more advanced material that can be well adapted to temperature change, to other climate changes, and it's much stronger. Although it's thicker, it's much stronger, and there are many other advantages to mention. The second thing we have done since the last five months is um, we are working closely with the standardization bodies of various, the provincial, the federal part. The most important one is the Intertech, which is international wide standard. Uh, for, because this is a brand new product industry, to make it uh, adopted like in the mass, we have to make sure that it's safe, it produces electricity, and it protects the environment. All those considerations, we cannot say it on our own. We must get third-party qualification. Another good, significant uh, standardization is with the BC Hydro. When you produce electricity and hook up to the BC Hydro grid system, they want to make sure that this electricity generated is safe, is reliable, is predictable. And of course, in the, the, our third uh, progress during the last five months or so is uh, we work with the universities in British Columbia, in SFU, UPC, and other universities and colleges to really advance our material science, our process uh, engineering, really to an even more advanced level.